tell it's very blue. Very blue, very good. Tell me more about this blue. What do you sense from it? Even if you think you're making it up. Not sure. Mm -hmm. This blue, is it something physical? No. No. If you knew what this blue was, what do you imagine it is? Mm -hmm. It's like space or void. Space, very good. Now in this space of blue, do you feel that you can move through it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to just set your intention to begin moving through the blue. And as you move through the blue, what do you sense? I can move through it, but it feels um, like molasses, like that's stuck, like mm -hmm. low, mm -hmm. like heavy mm -hmm. gravity. Yes. Follow this. What do you notice? It just feels like a heavy weight on my shoulders, like I'm carrying a lot of weight and just trying to climb through it. Very good. So I want you to just focus on this heavy weight on your shoulders. And I'm going to count from one to five. With each number, I want you to feel it getting heavier and heavier. And you tell me what it is that it feels like, this heavy weight. One, beginning to feel the weight heavier. Two, getting heavier. Three, almost as if it was, what? Three, four, noticing where you are with this heavy weight, and five. If you knew, even if you're making it up, what does this heavy weight feel like? Responsibility. Responsibility, very good. And where are you when you're feeling this heavy responsibility? I'm still stuck in the blue. You're still stuck in the blue. If you knew, what was the, what would be this responsibility in this blue? What is your responsibility that you're so stuck on? Mm -hmm. What comes the first word that comes up? Life. Life. Mm -hmm. And when you think of being responsible for life, whose life is it that you're responsible for? Everyone, very good. And what would happen if you would not be responsible for these people? What would happen to them? The word suffering, pain comes. Mm -hmm. Suffering and pain. Very good. So keep going into that suffering and pain. What is it that you imagine when you hear the words suffering and pain of others? What comes up? Heartache and struggle. Mm-hmm. Very good. Keep going. I'm getting an image of like a woman with caring babies just overwhelmed. Very good, very good. Keep focusing on this image of women and babies. Zoom in on it. What do you sense when you see this image? Feel it. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm, yes. Yes, keep going. 
of like, I don't know, these crying babies, I can't control it, or mm -hmm. she's suffering because she's overwhelmed and she can't handle it all. Very good, very good. So I'm going to count from one to three and I want you to go deeper into this, this woman carrying this baby. I want you to feel it with all of your body. One, two, and three. Tell me why it is that you're feeling this way. How I feel about mm -hmm. the, the suffering, the baby. Mm -hmm. This world and the people. Yes. Yes, continue. That I'm responsible for all of them and I can't handle it all. Mm hmm Very good. So let's go to the origin of when you made the decision that you are responsible for them, this life of everyone. I'm going to go backwards from five to one this time. And let's go to the origin of when you took on this responsibility. Five going through time space four being responsible three two and one even if you're making it up where are you mm -hmm. notice if you a past life all right, notice if you're indoors or outdoors. Indoors. Mm-hmm. On Look a ship. It. On a ship. Spaceship. On a spaceship, very good. And notice your body. What do you look like here? My arms look blue. My arms look blue. Yes. Continue. Yes. like yes continue I, don't know, I feel like I'm escaping from something or mm -hmm. I want you to feel yourself in this body besides your arms what do you look like I feel like I have horns on my head horns yes continue are you male or female Mm -hmm. What else do you have on your body? I see the color of pink, like mm -hmm. pink and blues. Yes. Are these pinks and blues part of your skin? Yes. Mm -hmm. So put out your arms and hands. What do they look like? Kind of like claw-like, but they're fingers. Mm -hmm. Like claws? Uh, kind of. Mm -hmm. What's the texture of your skin like? A little bit scalier. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not scales, but like rougher. Yes. And what does the rest of your body look like? Look at your torso, your legs. I'm thin. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like lanky. Mm -hmm. Look at your legs. I like muscly. Mm-hmm, yes. Are you wearing anything on your legs? Uh, can't tell. Mm-hmm. What about your feet? Look at your feet. They look almost like claws. Mm-hmm. Are you wearing anything on your feet? No. No. All right, so now that you've noticed what your body looks like, is there anything else on your body that looks interesting? A bracelet. Mm-hmm. What is this bracelet used for? It feels just like decor. Decor. Very good. Does it have anything on the bracelet that's interesting? It has a blue stone. 
Mm-hmm. Like turquoise. Like a turquoise, very good. Now you told me you've seen a lot of blue. What does this blue signify in your life? Water, calm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you told me that you felt something there. What is it that you're feeling on this ship? Like escape? Mm -hmm. Connect with your emotions now. What are you feeling? Yes. I'm kind of being distracted because <laughs> my dad is talking outside. I want to go out there and tell him to shush. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Your dad is not important right now. You can just allow his voice to actually take you deeper. Use his voice to take you even to a deeper place. That's it. Very good. Use any noises around you to just take you deeper. The more noises you hear, the deeper you go. And as you go deeper, sense this body on the ship once again. Escape, what does that mean? I just feel like I'm on this ship leaving something. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you knew, what is it that you're leaving? Chaos, war. Mm-hmm. This chaos and war, is it on the ship or elsewhere? Elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this. How is it that this chaos and war is affecting you? believes me yes I was trying to rescue people and save people but nobody wanted to believe me mm -hmm. and how does that feel when nobody believes you that I failed mm -hmm. very good very good so let's follow that and see what happens next I'm going to count from one to three let's go to the next scene in that same lifetime that is significant. One, two, and three. Where are you? I feel like I'm by a, a river. Yes. Tell me more. I'm trying to see. It's, I'm having a hard time. Like I don't want you to see. You're not using your eyes. I want you to feel and know. What do you know about this place? Just bring it up. It's like home. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what does home look like to you? Using that knowing. It feels peaceful. It feels a lot of like nature and flowers and mm-hmm yes I feel relaxed yes and are you by yourself in this place I'm by myself but there's others around like in the village mm-hmm yes or whatever but I don't feel alone even though I'm by myself sitting there yes yes tell me more it feels like like sadness in my heart that mm -hmm. this is gone. Yes. Let's that follow like that. Yes. It's like a place of peace and calm, and it was my home, but it it it's not there anymore because because of the wars and and the fighting. Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to advance now. 
the moment in which things happen in your home. What's I happening? I, I see people running. I feel fear. People running away. Mm hmm. Yes. There's chaos everywhere. Mm hmm. And notice what it is that they're running from. Um, other beings are throwing some kind of weapon. It's just all out chaos and like mm -hmm. screaming and people running away. Okay. And these beings, what are they like? They look more bulky, like um, lizardy. I don't mm -hmm. know how to like with like armor. Yes. They look more grayish mm -hmm. color. Yes. And myself and my people have like the, the it's more like a a brighter blue yellows and almost like bird like mm -hmm. yes and notice what type of weapons they're using i don't know what it is but it looks long mm -hmm. kind of like a like dagger like spears or something but they're not spears mm -hmm. and what happens when they use their weapons people are dying mm -hmm. What happens next with you? What do you do? I'm running and I'm trying to grab people and try to help them run with me. Yes. Like I know of a spaceship that we can get on and, and leave. Mm hmm I feel regret that I didn't get people on there sooner. But people didn't believe me when I tried to warn them mm -hmm. that this was going to happen. Yes. And what responsibility do you have with that ship? I don't know what the responsibility is, but I feel like I'm flying it. Like I know You're how fine. to fly it. All right. Very good. And notice all these people that you've put in there, how do you feel up towards them? I should feel like relief that I got some of them, but I feel sadness that I didn't save more. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how is this sadness affecting you? feels heavy in my heart, like it aches. Um, mm -hmm. It's a it's a ache of loss. It's an ache of not being able to save as much. Yes. What's the hardest part of this feeling of not being able to help others? What's the most difficult part about all of this? I didn't try hard enough. Mm, very good, very good. So I want you to notice something, this not being able to help enough, feeling this heaviness. How is all of this now affecting the lifetime of Ayana? It's like reliving it right now mm -hmm. in this world. Yes. Yes. Well, you're trying to warn everybody and... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's do something now. I'm going to have you go back before all of this chaos began in that planet, before all of those beings began to war on those that you love so much. I'm going to count from one to five, and I want you to be at the time when all of this begins. And this time, I want you to go through this very slowly, very carefully, with a lot more detail and feeling. One, going back now. Two, before this all began. Three, feeling at peace. 
four, and five. Notice where you are. I feel like I'm flying, like physically flying. Mm -hmm. Like I have wings and I am flapping them with flying. Yes. And when you're physically flying, what do you do there? What do you what are you doing I'm as you're flying? Looking below and I'm just just seeing like the tops of trees and mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a bird. Yes. Yes. So now you can get more details of what you look like. I feel carefree. I feel like I have wings. Mm hmm Like yes. feathers. I feel mm -hmm. colorful. Mm -hmm. Like very bright colors, made out of different bright colors. Yes. Very good. What happens next? I feel like I'm landing and I, I just... I feel so free, like a... I could just get up and just fly wherever I want. Just nice. Nice. Very good. And as you're there, now you can take in more of the information from where you are. What is this place in which you live? I'm not sure. It's not Earth. Mm -hmm. If you could call it something, what would you call it? Does it have a name? Mm-hmm, very good. So look around you. What does this place look like? Kind of like Earth. Mm-hmm. Yes. Trees and, and rivers and nature. Mm-hmm. Except I'm a bird, but a mm -hmm. giant one. Like very good. So let's... Let's go to the place in which you live. Looks like a, a hut with grass. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like a village with lots of family members. Yes. And other people. Mm-hmm. It's a very um social group, family tie type feel. Mm-hmm. Yes. And notice if you're young or old. I'm an adult. I'm an I'm adult. Not old. Mm hmm Yes. And do you live by yourself or notice? I feel like I'm not like in a romantic relationship or I don't have like a, a husband. I don't know you would call it but mm -hmm. like I don't a partner like I don't, a mate mm -hmm. I don't feel like I have children but I see children and I see like elderly I see like it's like family and, and village neighbors mm -hmm. it's like one big giant family very good very good so let's move forward now I'm going to count from one to three and when we get to number three will be the next important event one two, and three. What's happening? I feel like I'm being captured or tied. Mm-hmm, yes. I feel like my wings can't move, like I can't move my arms. Mm-hmm, and notice who has captured you, who has tied you. Those lizard looking things. Mm hmm. Yes. Are you the only one who's been captured, or are there any more? I don't see anybody else in the room. Mm hmm. So, how is this making you feel, having your wings tied? It's a complete opposite feeling of earlier when I was flying. Yes. Very unfree. Mm hmm. Like my freedom's been taken away. Yes. What happens next? I feel like I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. I feel. I don't really feel fear. I feel like empowered. Like I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to fight this. Yes. 
Like, you can't win. Mm hmm Not me, but, like, the other the bad guys can't win. Yes. What happens next? Yes, feel it. I feel like I see a window with light coming through. I see light and I feel hope. Mm hmm. Where are you now? Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors in some kind of like a like a prison or cell or something. Yes. Are you alone or are there others there? I'm alone. Mm hmm. Continue what happens. It's showing me making myself really small and then flying through that window. Beautiful. Mm hmm I don't know if that's actually what happened, but that's what I feel like. Mm hmm So what happens now? That now I go and try to warn others. Yes. But nobody wants to believe me. Mm hmm How is that making you feel when no one believes you? Frustrated, desperate. Mm hmm Yes. Continue. What happens next? I'm packing stuff, like, um, to run away to... Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm, like, shoving, like, frantically shoving things into, to like, a bags or, or something like that to... Yes. And try, like, I'm, like, frantically grabbing stuff, important things, like pictures and papers and whatever it is. Shoving things into a bag. Yes. <clears throat> yes, continue. Yes, continue. I feel like I'm like trying to convince people and then it's already starting. I was too late. I couldn't get out in time mm -hmm. to warn everybody. Yes. And now we're back at the scene where people are running and screaming and the war is starting. Mm-hmm. Yes. We were deceived. We mm -hmm. thought they were the we thought they were good guys. Yes. And then I'm back on the ship. Mm -hmm. Those that I'm able to save and we're flying away off the planet. Yes. So let's focus on what it happens after you're on that ship. I want you to connect with those feelings again. What do you feel? I feel like almost like an adrenaline rush right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, like, is it just we just escaped and it hasn't quite hit me yet. Mm -hmm. What's been lost? Yes. Yes, continue. Now I'm starting to feel like a feeling like lost. Like, where do I go? What do we do? Yes. How do we start over? Mm hmm. Yes. What happens next? I'm on another planet. Mm-hmm. Do you have the same body? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Notice what happens when you get to this planet. like refugees and they're taking us in yes they're hot, like giving us food and shelter yes and what does it feel like to be a refugee like it's pulling me back to that the image earlier where I felt you know I was by the water at home and it felt like home and at peace like it's giving me that feeling of all that's lost it's gone and I just does not feel like home yes 
What happens next? I start working together with the, the people of that planet. I feel like I'm on another ship, not my ship, but a different ship, like a bigger one. Yes. With a lot of other um, beings on there, just working. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like um, some kind of... Like we're going to fight the bad guys kind of ship? I don't know, <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. know how to describe it. Yes. But so you notice how... Col Sorry. Yes, how does it feel to be working with these to fight them? Well, it feels like I have purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like I feel like it's almost like Star Trek like mm -hmm. yes. type of ship. Yes. I don't see my people there. I don't, I don't know where they are. What role do you play on that ship? I don't know. I see myself pushing buttons and flying stuff. and. Mm -hmm. So I want you to focus on that as you're working. I see myself giving some kind of an, an, not an injection like we do today, but like some kind of medical thing to not only am I doing stuff with a ship, like I have multi hats. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is the one that's most important for you? I feel like they're both pretty important. All right, very good. Continue, what happens next? Yes. Try to feel into it. All right, I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, you're going to go to the most impactful part of this expedition, this journey. Let's see what happens. One, two, and three. What's happening? Um, my ship is shooting at another ship. Yes. The opposing? Yes. The whole ship is shaking. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm going to die. This is the moment that I'm going to die. All right. So I want you to slow this down. And I want you to go moment by a moment. And this time you're going to feel everything a lot more profoundly. I want you to feel what happens. One, two, and three. I feel like I'm on uneven ground, like the whole ship is being rocked and shook, like shook, so like I can't stand up straight, like I'm grabbing things to like try to yes. steady myself. Yes. Um, I feel like the ship is going to go down for sure. Mm -hmm. And as, the, as you're feeling this, notice how it's affecting your body. I feel like my heart's racing, but I don't have enough time to register fear yes I don't really mm -hmm. feel fear I just feel like a like an adrenaline feeling mm -hmm. what's going on through your emotions that we're losing yes and what's going on through your mind when you consider that you're losing give up that <laughs> mm -hmm. it's weird it feels like um it's like i know that death isn't final that you get to come back again and do it and it feels like i have like this i'm gonna do this and mm -hmm. even if i die right now in this body i'm gonna come back and succeed later okay very good so i want you to go to the moment that this body feels death coming. What's happened? I feel like the, the 
ship has exploded and I feel my body just floating through space kind mm -hmm. of feeling. Yes, and as your body is floating through space, where is your soul? Here. Mm -hmm. So I want you to notice something. What is the last thought that you have in that body before the ship explodes? <laughs> I say, oh, I have to do this again. <laughs> mm. Yes. And That's notice what last thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. And notice what this is. Would it follow the word this? I have to do this again. Another life. Another life. Another mm -hmm. body. Yes. And when you realize that you need to do this again. I want you to go ahead and allow your soul to go to the place in which you plan the next life. I'm going to count from one to five. When I get to number five, you'll be in that planning stage. One, feeling your soul. Two, to the planning place. Three, four, and five. What is this place? Bright. It feels long, like a long hallway. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't feel like I have a body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you feel like you have a gender in this place? It almost like fluctuates back and forth between the two. Mm -hmm. Like male, yes. female, male, female, male, female. I don't know mm. how to describe it, yes. but I feel very floaty. Yes. And if you knew, what is this place? My real home. Mm. Yes, continue. What happens in this place? This mm -hmm. is my home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Describe the feeling of your home. I don't want to go mm -hmm. to other lives. Yes. What is there in your home that makes it so special? There's no pain, there's no... There's no fighting, there's no wars, there's no hurt, there's no... Rescuing anybody. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. No responsibility. Yes. Very good. No responsibility. <laughs> mm -hmm. Continue. Tell me more. Uh, but I feel like I'm like this overachiever, like. Like, I don't want to do these lives, but then I'm also this, like, overachiever that's like, yes, let's keep learning. Very <laughs> good. Very do good. Mm-hmm. So when do you decide to do this again? I'd like for you now to go to that moment. Where do you plan this next life? It's making me, sh or showing me that as soon as I die and I go back, I immediately want to come back. Yes. It's like it makes me feel like when I'm in the hu or human or whatever a body, when I'm incarnated wherever I am, I don't always want to do it mm -hmm. because it's hard because I keep choosing difficult journeys. Yes. But then as soon as I'm back home, home, I'm like gung ho, ready to do it again. It's like it's a race, like all the all the trauma is like gone, you know, and you're like, yeah, let's do it again. Mm -hmm. So while you're home, you can reminisce about this last life that you had. What was the purpose of that life? What did you need to experience or learn from that life as that bird being? Um, I feel like it's the same theme a lot, um, but definitely 
there's a theme of of worth mm -hmm. yes. being seen being heard and do you feel that you were being Failure. seen and heard in that life that, no no so what decision did you make in that life mm -hmm. yes being that you weren't heard you weren't seen what decision did you make for other incarnations that was going to prove my worth mm, very good is that a vow that you made yeah mm -hmm. very good notice how that vow is affecting all of the lifetimes that this soul is living Still trying to prove my worth now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And what would be the reason for trying to prove your worth? What is so important about that vow? Because that first life, I couldn't save everybody. Mm hmm. Yes. I couldn't. And I, I felt that it was my fault that if I tried harder, harder if I was better, if I was more worthy, I would have been able to. So I want you to look at that lifetime from a different perspective, from the soul's perspective, not the individual. Do you truly believe that you could have saved everybody? No. No. I wasn't meant to. Mm -hmm. So why would you carry on a vow? to try to prove your worth when you know that each person has their own free will, that each person has their own learning experience. Probably trauma, the trauma, mm -hmm. the pain, the pain of seeing everybody suffer. Mm -hmm. Notice where you carry that trauma. feel heaviness in my heart. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's do something now that your soul is at home. I want you to find a color that represents healing for that heaviness, for that heart. What color represents that for you? Blue. <laughs> Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike a tuning fork. And I want you to just cover yourself in that beautiful blue color. Breathe it in. Here we go. Feel yourself covering yourself in blue. And as the blue penetrates, you could feel that heaviness beginning to lift. Understanding that with the death of that body, of that lifetime, as the experience is over, and once the experience is over, that heaviness is no longer needed. So with the bl blue, just dissipate the heaviness. Release it with your breath. Wrap yourself in blue. And tell me what's happening. lighter. Mm -hmm. Very good. And now that the soul feels lighter, I'd like for you to now just explore the planning of the next lifetime. Who's going to assist you in the life that's coming next? Mm -hmm. What is his role in this soul's life? He rescues me mm -hmm. from a prisoner again. Mm -hmm. He rescues me. 
All right. Have you had different lifetimes with this soul? Yes. All right. Let's go to the one which you were both working together, living together. Let's find out if you made any agreements. I'm going to count from one to three this time. When I get to number three, you'll be in that lifetime. One, two, and three. You're there now. I see, like, you know, if somebody's laying on the floor and somebody's giving you their hand to try to pull you up. Yes. I, I see that happening. Like, I'm the one that's, like, down and he's reaching mm -hmm. out his hand to, like, pull me back up onto my feet. Mm -hmm. And notice if this body that is lying down, is it a male or female body? Male. M male. Very good. And why is it that you're on the ground? What has happened to you? There's been wars for a long time, and I'm some undercover, mm -hmm. like a secret spy agent for yes. like the, the the good guys, and I was caught. Mm -hmm. And I've been held in some kind of like captivity place, and he came in with his ship and his crew, and they. He's pulling me off the ground, and, and we're getting onto the ship. Mm hmm Yes. To escape. Mm hmm Tell me more. I feel like I'm a guy. Like mm -hmm. a male. Yes. In this life. Yes. I'm not sure if I am, but I feel like I'm a male. Mm-hmm. And where are you now? On the ship? Yes. Yes. I feel like my husband now is like it, we almost become like best friends. Yes. In that lifetime, like almost like brotherly best friend love. Like we, he saved my life. I owe him. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. like debt of gratitude, and we're both on the same mission to to stop the bad guys. Mm -hmm. and the Very bad guys good. are also the same reptile guys. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to advance forward to the last day of your life in that lifetime. And tell me where you are. I feel like I'm in a bed. Mm -hmm. Yes. I feel like I'm older. Yes. But not really old. What's happening like... to your body? I feel like I'm in some kind of a hospital type environment. Um, yes. I don't know why I'm dying. Like I, I can't feel into that. Mm-hmm. Yes, continue. What happens to your body? I just feel like I'm sick with something. Yes. I don't know what the sickness is, though, but I feel like I'm sick with something. I feel like my current husband, Matt, in his role then was in the room with me, like, saying goodbye. Yes. And allow that body to die. And as you release that body like an old coat, notice what happens with your soul. I feel, I hear the words in my head, wee! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Did you make any vows or promises as you leave that body behind? it's a vow or promise but I have this feeling of we haven't won yet we're mm -hmm. winning eventually <laughs> let's do this again very good so allow your soul to leave and let's see where it goes where does your soul leave when it leaves that body I feel like I'm just like like shooting up like like mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. 
Yes. But like happy, like I'm not, I'm not upset. I'm not mm -hmm. like a nice feeling. Yes. And this time you'll be able to experience coming home a little bit more details. Is there anyone there to greet you? Um, it just feels like really, really bright light. Like it almost like blindingly bright. Yes. But I don't have a body. Like I just feel like a blob. Mm -hmm. um, like a ball. I don't know how to explain it. Um, yes. And it's not like I enter a room. It's not like there's a door that I go through. I just mm -hmm. feel like I just go from like one space and I fly out and then like I'm in this other space now. Wonderful. And in this space, is there anyone there to greet you? It just feels like God, like tons and tons of other blobs, mm -hmm. like energy blobs. Yes. Connect with those energy blobs. Do you recognize any of them? Yes. Mm -hmm. One of them is uh, my best friend, Emily. Mm -hmm. She's happy to see me. It's almost like she's giving me a hug, but not a hug. It's like a understood hug. I yes. Explain that either. Mm -hmm. Yes. What like, else do I, you they, notice? They f I feel a feeling of like proudness, like not proudness, like ego, but like proud of you, like, oh, you just did that journey, that lifetime, mm -hmm. good job. Yes. Kind of feeling like uh, like people, like they're cheering you on, kind of feeling like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, you came back, good job. Mm -hmm. And in the last lifetime that you experienced, you wanted to prove your worth. Do you feel that you accomplished that in the lifetime you just left behind? I don't feel like I had much of that worth feeling mm -hmm. theme as much in that lifetime. Yes. What not was this that... theme? I guess maybe it was the like, I still got to beat the bad guys mm -hmm. theme. I don't know. Very good. Because obviously I'm still fighting the same guys just in a different lifetime. Mm -hmm. Very good. Like a, It feels like a really long war, like thousands and thousands and thousands of lifetimes war. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's do something. Let's go back to the origin of with this, when all of this began, when this warring with the bad guys began. I don't want you to have any expectations. I want you to release all of that. And I'm going to count from five to one, and we'll go to the beginning of all of this. Five four, three, deeper, two, deeper, one. What do you notice? Uh, it's shown like a like a seed? Yes. But it's not a seed. If you knew, what 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 is that? It's consciousness. Very good. Whose consciousness is that? Everyone. Mm hmm And I see a like a split that happens with that consciousness. It's like a seed that it being split into two. Yes. Kind of like into like a yin and a yang. Mm-hmm, yes. And it was like the first split of consciousness. Mm-hmm. To have different experiences and that's the start of of everything. Like the mm -hmm. start of, of of duality, the start of everything. Yes. And how is your soul part of this split? Like I'm watching it from outside of it. Yes. 
But I also understand that I am it. Yes. So, does your soul choose which side of the split you go on? I feel like I've been on both sides. Mm hmm. Yes. Continue. But if I have a choice, I prefer to be on this side. Mm hmm. Very good. So, I'd like for you to move to the moment in which you begin your warring with the other side. Yes, if you knew. I feel like um, I'm one of the lizard yes. people right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. I feel like on our own planet. Mm -hmm. But I feel um, like desperation that we're running out of supplies or running out of resources and we need to get resources in order for us to keep our, our kind going. Very good. What do you do? There's talk of like going to other planets to to take their resources. Yes. Or to ask for their resources. Mm-hmm. Yes, continue. What happens then? I feel like we lack empathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like it didn't matter as long as we survived it didn't matter how we we did it because yes. I don't feel like that empathetic feeling of like hurting somebody else or something else I don't feel like I'm doing wrong mm -hmm. yes like mm -hmm. I feel like it's just okay for me to go take Yes. And I don't care who it hurts. Mm hmm I don't understand hurt. I don't know. Yes. I don't know how to put that. Yes. So advance a little bit more. What happens next? We start off with flying to one planet and, and use lies and deceit to manipulate them into letting us in and then we we hurt them and we take their their planet mm -hmm. resources and when you take their resources notice how it affects your soul it makes me feel stronger yes but denser mm -hmm. so as you take it empowers you Yes, but mm -hmm. not in a, how I would call empowering. Yes. This soul, this mm -hmm. Yes. So continue. Keep going. What happens? It's almost like um, a feeling of the more we do it, the more I like it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or that my soul's lifetime and that like the more that that being liked the power the control the and even if we didn't need the resources anymore even if we had enough it was it's like almost like a greed feeling yes like um didn't matter how much we already had we we just wanted to keep destroying and destroying and destroying mm -hmm. for the power yeah. for the control yes um and making everybody that we capture, if we don't kill them off, we make them into like slaves. Mm hmm. Yes. So I'd like for you to advance to the last day of your life in that lifetime. What happens? I feel like I'm old again. 
I'm this time even older than the last life. Yes. I feel like I've had children and grandkids. I, I don't see them, but I feel like I've had them. Yes. Uh, don't have like that lovey dovey. Like, yeah, like in the pa in the other life, like I had, you know, like I felt like this. Oh, love and gratitude feeling towards my husband and him being there to help me through my death. Like, I don't have that feeling here. Yes. I don't know if it's just just being in this being's body. Like, I just lack. I don't know. Maybe they lack emotions. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't really feel a lot of emotions here. Life. Yes. I, but I do feel like the like, like power and mm -hmm. strength and those type of feelings. It yes. feels dark. Yes. And heavy. Right. So go ahead and go to the last moment of your life. And notice what it is that causes the death of this body. I feel like this age. Mm -hmm. This body's deteriorating from age. Yes. Allow the soul to release this body now. And as the soul releases, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't feel that we feeling anymore. Like I feel like I'm trying to fly out, and it's yes. like heavy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Notice what this heaviness is all about really heavy mm -hmm. like I'm struggling to fly back up to, to the other space yes notice what that heaviness is all about like I, I have all the energy from the, that lifetime like the bad things I did that I killed a lot mm -hmm. I hurt a lot yes yes what decision do you make about this heaviness? I feel like I'm trying to like shake my shoulders, mm -hmm. like some like a dog, you know, shaking it off. Like yes, that's I kind of feel like that, like like it's like I'm shaking it off, shaking it off, and then I'm finally free, and then fly back. So no, notice what happens this time, as you return from that lifetime. I'm getting a lot of, um, instead of like, woohoo, proud of you, like, I'm getting a lot of like hugs, like compassionate hugs. Yes. They're not physical hugs, like, there's no arms. Mm -hmm. Notice why, like... why it is that they're giving you so much compassion about this life. Because they, I feel like they understand it. it was just a role I had to play. Yes. And what did you learn from that role? That they're not, I don't know, I guess that they're only just doing what they know. Mm -hmm. yes. If they don't have empathy and stuff, is it really, they don't really know. Mm -hmm. Very good. That they're doing bad. I don't know. Because mm -hmm. I feel like he, he doesn't realize, like he doesn't recognize that what he was doing was bad and I was a male in that lifetime I feel yes like, um, like I feel like he, he just did just to do with no understanding that it's bad yes what is it that this soul needs to accomplish this overachieving soul Yes. It's making me feel like that to go with the flow and don't battle it, mm -hmm. don't fight it. If yes. it's going to happen, it's going to happen and it's meant to happen. Like, I don't need to fight it in this lifetime. I don't need to battle it. I will do what I'm supposed to do. Like, in this lifetime, I'm not supposed to battle, I'm not supposed to fight. I'm supposed to just help others after. Mm -hmm after everything's happened. Yes. Like I'm not supposed to be doing the, the fighting this time. Yes. So in this lifetime, Ayana has not been able to let go of control. 
She has said, it's not my job to save the world. It's my job to pick up the pieces. What advice do you give Ayana, now knowing that she has battled on both sides? That just like she played a role in that life. Mm -hmm. The bad guys here in this life on this planet are actually, it, everybody's just playing a role. Yes. A consciousness yes. evolution. It's it's just part of the, the awakening process for the people on this planet. Mm -hmm. It's part of Gaia's evolution. It's part of the whole evolution of consciousness. And there's no really bad. There's no really good. It's just playing roles. Mm -hmm. So what is Ayana's role in this lifetime? What is her mission this time around? To teach. Mm. What is it that she teaches when she teaches others? How to heal. Mm -hmm. So right now she is in employment doing working of healing. How else does she heal? She teaches verbally. Mm -hmm. Yes. She guides. Yes. Through her experiences. Mm -hmm. So with that, is there anything else or do you feel that we're complete? Very good. Nice. Five wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> what a journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how you feeling, my dear? I feel good. Yeah? Interesting. Yeah, it was definitely interesting experience. You notice you've been on both sides. Yeah, I mean, I knew, I, like, deep down inside, like, I know I've, I've been, even on planet Earth, like, I know I've, like, been a slave, and I've been a slave owner, like, I know I've... Yeah, I could hardly hear you, though. Oh, sorry, is that better? There you go, there you go, better, I I yeah. Moved. <laughs> what, so what did you get from this? We went all over the place. Uh, it was definitely interesting to see some of my past life. like even though I suspected like certain yeah. things it was it was interesting to see like you know how it all started and how like my issues in this world are not just from this world you yeah. know it's yeah they stemmed from from many past worlds and then I'm, I'm old yeah. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, like, we all are we all are I'm 40 so on this planet but I'm old oh god you're forever yeah you're very very ancient so, so do you want to share this this session Sure. Yes. Okay. It <laughs> helps other people. <laughs> All right. Terrific. So, what part of the world are you in? I'm in Houston, Texas. Terrific. Terrific. Thank you very, very much for watching. Until the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>